So I'm sure you, a lot of you have actually noticed that I'm bald. And that is because we had our 24 hour charity live stream just a week ago at this point. And it was super successful. Uh, we raised over $10,000 for orphan and vulnerable children here in Southern Africa. And I went bald once we hit 5,000. So uh, yeah, big thanks to the community for doing that. But in case you guys didn't know, what we actually use to stream is a little program known as XSplit. Uh, I get questions all the time as to why we use this over any other alternative that's out on the internet. And that's primarily because we can multi-stream to many different locations, but not only can we multi-stream, but we actually get control of the bit rate. We don't send a super high bit rate to YouTube and then the same bit rate to Twitch because it just, it's inefficient to do it that way, especially since Twitch's max bit rate is less than YouTube. So XSplit actually allows us to do that and do it pretty efficiently and effectively on one system and we don't have to worry about it, which, is what got me excited when they agreed to work with us on this video showing off a brand new bit of software that they have come out with called XSplit VCAM. So big thanks to XSplit for sponsoring this video. And I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly what VCAM is and how it works and why it's actually pretty revolutionary, not just in the streaming game, but for a lot of other purposes as well that might not be immediately noticeable. So VCAM is super easy. If you have an XSplit subscription, you just go to their website, you download it and you install it and then bam, you get to use it. If not, if you don't have an XSplit subscription, it's a $50 purchase and you can use it with any other streaming software that might be out on the market. They don't lock it down to just be used with XSplit by itself. But now you guys are asking, what is it, Brett? What is it? So <laughs> right now, as you see on the screen, I am being recorded by that GH5 that's over there. We're taking that ingested as a camera. This is with VCAM. Looks like a normal webcam, right? Nothing, nothing necessarily too out of the ordinary here. When we pull up the VCAM program, it's super easy to use. You select your camera, which we already do, it's the USB, we're using a cam link from Corsair. You select what type of background you want, and then you can replace the background. <laughs> I didn't remember that I chose that one. Or you can completely remove the background altogether. Right now, this isn't the best shot. We're not, we're not set up in a way that makes sense. It's having a hard time distinguishing between us and the system right now. But let's go back to the original background, okay? So it's a background replacement tool without the need for a green screen whatsoever, which is pretty phenomenal. Previously, your options without a green screen was to do some sort of like fake chroma key, which I'm showing you right now. So doing a red chroma key does something pretty hideous to me. This isn't even okay. A green color a chroma key does nothing and a blue chroma key obviously makes it super wonky and not okay. And then even if we do an eyedrop color key to try to get rid of the background, it, ah, I get a web page in my mouth. Not efficient at all. But as you can see with, with VCAM, even on a crappy laptop, webcam that I have right here. Not using, you know, a, a mirrorless with a $500 lens on it. If Even if we just use a terrible webcam, we can remove the background pretty efficiently in a way that could not really be done before. The way XSplit does this is through the use of AI to actually process uh, what is the background and what is the foreground. So as you can see, my head is now effectively chroma keyed out of the entire thing. I put in my headphones, it helps a little bit. So this is this is with a crappy webcam that has very little definition, very little uh, like actual resolution going on to it. So let's see what it can do in some good scenarios because if you're streaming, what you're gonna want is to have proper lighting like we do right now, to have a nice defined background that is super discernible. That way your viewers aren't distracted by what's happening behind you. So pulling in the GH5, I showed you guys it works on a bad webcam. It typically has automatic settings going on right there. You can blur the original background. Um, obviously you don't wanna go too ham because then it creates this weird fake image of like it, you'd be better off just replacing the background at this point. Um, so don't like, I, I found that a, a background blur of 15 is enough to give it just like this fake portrait mode bokeh that, that is, that's quite delicious. So removing the background obviously is what most streamers do for playing video games. And you usually don't have it as such at such a high resolution. 
Um, but there are a few key things that you can do to actually make sure that your exploit vcam is going to work better. It's going to get a better definition of you. Primarily, that's first when you set it up, they actually encourage you to upload a 15 second clip of yourself in the streaming format that you're going to be doing. That way they can help their AI learn what is actually background, what's foreground, what's the human, who, who do we pay attention to here? So that, that's one way you can get it to work. Another way that helps it tremendously is by actually changing the quality control. So obviously this is gonna depend on what your system setup is, but it automatically defaults to running on the GPU and then it defaults to standard, at least in our system. We have a GTX 1070, we have a Ryzen 7 2700X in the system, but setting it to highest, bam, cleared it up pretty easily. Um, that, that is pretty, pretty good. Once you put it in a video game, you put yourself in the little corner, it is hardly discernible. Um, like th this is amazing technology. The fact that the AI is pulling this out and my head is mostly well-defined. I, I can put my headphones on and it still understands what my headphones are. And then you have the option of removing the chair or adding the chair. I found that making sure that the chair is removed helps to alleviate some of the other things that we have going on, such as the laptop. But this is a super complicated scene that you guys are seeing right here. And it's, it's performing pretty admirably. Removing the chair just gets rid of the laptop and the chair and it makes it do pretty well. But as you guys can see, this isn't, this isn't a simple background. We have a monitor right here. We have all of that stuff back there. We have the laptop right here. I did a test when I was in front of the Nano Leafs with flashing lights and all of our setup on our hot new set. And it still does pretty dang well, especially when you consider what the alternative is. And that's some weird chroma key crap that doesn't actually act, cut you out of anything, even if you select the background. This helps you save money on a green screen. It helps to make sure that you can have higher quality streams without spending a whole lot of money. And one of the better implementations that most people wouldn't necessarily think of is it helps you to appear more professional, let's say if you're in a Skype call. Let's say you, you have a remote interview, you have something going on, either you don't want to have the background that your busy background that's going on. They not only allow you to select from any file that you might have on your computer, but you can actually even search for some stock photos that can help you out. So let's, uh, let's put me in space. Bam. Then I have a space background, which looks pretty dope. Or obviously that's that's a terrible example for you know an interview. Let's say, let's just go with a simple library. Done, works super snappy. Then I have a background that actually looks pretty good. I'm cut out of it pretty decently, even in a complicated setup like this. Obviously, most people aren't gonna have a computer and a laptop and everything set up like that. It's mostly just gonna be them one-on-one -on -one with either a mouse and keyboard in front of them or you know just a controller. Cleaning up your setup definitely helps with streams and interviews all by itself, but then this does something just a little bit extra to give you a little bit more to, to come across as either more of a professional streamer without the extra cost of a green screen or not necessarily even just the cost but the amount of space that's required to do it, the amount of setup that it takes, painting your wall green, any of that can take more effort than you can even expend. If you're in a temporary situation, let's say that you're on the road, you wanna stream in your hotel room, this will allow you to actually get rid of that bed that's in the background and get you immersed into the game. Easy peasy, no problem. It runs on my gaming laptop, no issues. I've shown you guys everything that's going on here. Vcam is actually a pretty cool up and coming software that's going to allow streamers who are just getting started to add that little bit of extra professionalism to their game streams, to anything that they wanna put out on the internet, easily cutting out to actually immerse yourself into it just a little bit more. And the fact that Xplit has you upload your video allows them to better create the AI so that this is only going to get better with time. It's still obviously not perfect. You guys are seeing glitches here and there. I can't deny it's not working 100% as well as a green screen would, but it does allow for something that's pretty dang close for a lot less investment and in a way that is pretty seamless. And if you guys wanna try it out yourself, you don't have to buy it up front. You can do just the trial. It allows you to test it out. It will give you a VCAM watermark, but you can see, does this work for your setup? If you turn on the lights, if you put yourself on your camera, can you get a good enough background replacement? Can you remove your background? Can you do exactly what you wanna do with it? 
XSplit actually makes it pretty easy for you to check that out. It actually works pretty well even in the super complicated and stupid background that we have because we have it set up for our streams so that we see the background. We tried to design it in a way that was busy but not too overwhelming and creates uh, a little bit more ambiance. But if you set it up so that you're just in front of a wall, this thing honestly will just remove you and put you right into the game so that your audience doesn't have to worry about you know that towel that you accidentally left on your door. So big thanks to XSplit for sponsoring this video. Big thanks for them to even create this software. This is honestly something that's pretty amazing, even depending on the quality of your webcam. Like this USB 2.0 chickeny, whatever it's called, is, is honestly good enough to get the results. Putting myself in this scene from both of the different webcams, and honestly, can, can you, you can tell that that's a little bit higher definition, but it cuts me out pretty dang well on this one. I'm right over all of the little donations that we got on our stream, so. Anyways, we'll leave a link in the video description for you guys to check out XSplit VCam. We honestly can't recommend it enough. This is one of the best solutions that I've seen on the market for making sure that you have easy and seamless background replacement without having to worry too much about what's going on behind you or investing the money in something like a green screen. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Please get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech-related content. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. You've just watched a sponsored video by XSplit, and I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video. Love you too.